Emporia State, I thought we played a good 28 minutes tonight. I thought the first half we got out of it what we wanted to get out of it. We wanted to press those guys to work on our press defense, trapping the ball, getting matched up. Um, I felt like we didn't shoot the ball well. 37% from the field, 27 from the from the field also, not from the three-point line, and 57 from the free throw line. We got to do a better job. In order to win big games, you got to be able to shoot the basketball from the field, from three, and you got to be able to make free throws at a high level. But overall, we got out of this game what we wanted. I wanted to get some young guys the opportunity to get into the game so I could see what they had, and we were able to do that tonight. I can't talk. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Coach, what, what can you say about uh, Mo's game today and just how efficient he was and he kind of just did whatever he wanted down low, it seemed like? He was very efficient. He was seven for seven from the field, I think four for five from the free throw line. He had 18 points. Uh, we got to get his rebounding up. I told him tonight, you know, three rebounds is not enough, but I felt like the guards went inside to him early. He was very patient and he didn't force anything and he wasn't standing on the perimeter. He took his time, he made great post moves, and he kicked it out to guys for wide open shots. Is that an area you think you guys have already shown some improvement since just even a few weeks ago of being able to, for the guards to get the ball in to the bigs and everything? Without a doubt. I thought they threw it in early to Morris. I thought Isaiah Chandler played another great game until he hurt his thumb again, but he made a low post move on the block. He had a turnaround jump shot and he played well also. So we got what we wanted from the uh, both of the fives. And w with Morris, uh, how much is it um, just the uh, mentality with him? Uh, do you feel like just when he has it in his mind that he's going to be aggressive and, you know, go to the basket, good things happen? Or what, what's kind of the key that, that unlocks him? I think he ran and he got good position in the post early. I think the guards look for him. He didn't float out on the perimeter, and he didn't force any shots. When he got it inside, if they double teamed him, he kicked it out, and he would repost, and he just took his time. He was really patient inside. We need those bigs to be able to score inside because you're not going to always shoot the ball well at the three-point line, so you got to score the ball in the paint. And basketball is teams that win. They start inside out, and we did a good job of that tonight. And with his uh, improved uh, foul shooting, uh, you know, he's been a career, I think, under 50% shooter from the free throws. So how much uh, improvement have you seen from what he did in the summer? And just does he just look more comfortable, you know, going to the foul line? And how big can those, you know, those points be, you know, added points from him at the free throw line this year? Oh, those points are huge. Anytime you get a big kid that can store it on the block and teams are double teaming them or fouling them, for them to be able to step up and make free throws late in the game, that's big. Uh, Morris really worked all summer long on his jump shot. He even likes to step out and shoot threes now. He hadn't taken one in the last two games. I told him he needed to get inside, but he's worked on it a lot. You know, he can step out and make a jump shot, 18-footer. He did a great job at the foul line tonight, but that's something he's been working on every day before and after practice. Coach, in a game like this, um, you're obviously um, more talented, bigger, stronger than the other team. Was there an emphasis on being more technical in tonight's matchup for your guys, doing the little things right, the small things, so that when you do get into more competitive games, that you're able to have those, that stuff down packed? Yeah, that was one of the keys tonight. Number one, we still want to run in transition. I wanted them to push the ball hard in transition. I wanted them to be up the line on defense. But we just felt like we wanted to execute better. We wanted to be able to steal a basket, meaning run a set and get a layup, or run a set and get a guy a wide open jump shot. And we scored on six baskets like that tonight, and that's probably the most we've had this year because you're not going to be able to just go out against really good teams and just beat them off the dribble and beat them with your athleticism. You got to be able to execute. So that's one, what we wanted to do tonight was try to execute against this team.
and obviously, I mean, your guys' guards are, you know, everybody knows, you know, Tyson and Dexter, all I mean, those guys are going to be the strength of the team. So how important you feel like the centers, you know, Pooh Bear and uh, Mo, are these guys, are they kind of the X factor you feel like this season or can they be? Uh, just yeah, because- I think Isaiah Chandler, I think Clarence Jackson, I think Craig Porter, all those guys coming off the bench, they definitely can be X factors because those guys can help you win. You know what I'm saying? They're veteran guys that have played at this level um, two or three games now. They know what they're doing, and that adds to our team when we can get some people coming off the bench scoring. Our bench has done a great job the entire year. His knee was a little swollen after practice. Um, It was a little swollen, so we just held him out tonight. He'll be ready to go against South Florida. And the same deal with uh, Pooh Bear. I mean, you feel like the, the, the thumb, is that just kind of a nagging injury, or what's kind of the update there? Um, in the second half, he aggravated it, so we didn't put him back in. But he'll be ready to go against South Florida also. He just got to get treatment this week, but he'll be ready to play. Both of those guys will be ready to go against South Florida. And then with uh, with Poor Bear, I know uh, you guys really put an emphasis on, you know, chasing offensive rebounds, you know, after those first few games where that was kind of a problem. I thought the last two games, I mean, he's really crashed the, the glass. I mean, has he kind of responded to what you guys have, have been asking him to do in terms of just, you know, chasing those offensive rebounds? Yes. He's been going to the offensive glass hard. Isaiah's always been a kid that's been in practice, and he shows signs. He does that stuff in practice, and he's finally doing it in the game now. So I'm just so happy for him, you know, to be able to go on the road at Tulsa and make a three to get an offensive tip dunk. Tonight, again, he was on the offensive glass. He made two great post moves. I think he's going to continue to get better and better. He's always done it in practice, but now he's taking it into the game. All right.